Hey there. In this video, I will explain a new plugin developed by WordPress performance team called Performance Lab. So, if you are a WordPress developer, a plugin developer, or a theme developer, or you might be a content author who use WordPress for creating websites, and if you have used a heavy themes or heavy plugins like WooCommerce and some other related plugins, your site must be little bit lower in performance. So, in history, it is said that WordPress is having issue with performance. So, WordPress core team, a WordPress performance team, has created a plugin that will give you a better idea what are the things you should do to make your wordpress a better okay so in this video i will go through that plugin in detail so you can have a better idea so the performance lab plugin our wordpress performance team has created and the first version is already there so as you can see on my screen this performance lab plugin is there it is created by wordpress performance group okay so the performance lab plugin is a collection of modules focused on enhancing performance for your site most of which should be eventually be merged in wordpress core in the future i guess the plugin allows to individually enable and test the module to get their benefits before they become available in wordpress core and to provide feedback to further improve the solutions so there are few points that this plugin provides the performance lab is the performance lab plugin is a set of modules so as you can see currently the plugin includes the following performance modules the wp uploads so let's first install this plugin and let's see how it looks okay so let's add a new plugin it is uh, very easy to install and activate the plugin so find for performance lab the first result should be your plugin so this is the performance lab plugin you should install okay okay so historically feature projects have usually been implemented as separate feature plugins the performance lab plugin provides a centralized location for performance related features which are intended to eventually be merged into wordpress core okay so it should be considered a beta testing plugin okay it's a beta one it's not the uh, real you can use as a beta testing plugin it's a beta yeah so the plugins performance modules can be individually individually be enabled so how in settings there is a tab performance okay here you can see webp uploads you can enable webp upload so once you check this it will create webp version of new jpeg image uploads if supported by the server so by default if you upload the jpeg images it will not convert into webp uploads webp files webp images the dot webp is a, uh, a very popular and newly you can say the image or uh, image type and it is very useful in performance so if you enable this option it will create a webpack a webp version of jpeg okay the next one is site health so yeah one more point here so it will create a dot webp images out of jpeg and if the server supports the dot webp image extension then on front end when the website will load it will load dot webp file webp images so it will be a very uh, very good efficiency in the page loading so that's the benefit of webp images the next is site health so here um, if you check it out it will enable audit auto loaded options so this is experimental now it will add a check of auto loaded options in site health status okay the next one is audit enqueued asset so as you can uh, see the css and js resources are very uh, crucial when you load the website right so uh, 
this option will enable audit enqueued assets the enqueued css and js files it will give you a better idea that which js file is taking much time or which css is not up to the mark so you can use this option as well uh, the, again the next thing webp support it will enable the web uh, webp file support the object cache so this option will enable the persistent object cache health check okay so this will add a persistent object cache that check for sites with non trivial amounts of data in the site health status so you can check the required options and save right so uh, this is a um, uh, overview that how you can use this plugin so another benefit of the single plugin approach taken with the performance lab plugin is that it provides room for experimentations some modules include in in the plugin are explicitly marked as experimental as you can see these two are experimental at this moment right and those modules are at particularly early stage of exploration and therefore could lead to unexpected results this also leads to a clarification that all performance module bundled in this performance lab plugin are at different stage of development for example some may already be official wordpress core feature projects other may be proposed as feature projects in the near future some experimental modules may remain in exploration for a few months to come so you need to uh, keep in mind that some of the options like uh, this auto loaded options are experimental at this moment because the performance lab plugin is a collection of potential wordpress core fe feature modules the list of modules include many drastically change over the time new modules may be added regularly while other modules may be removed in the future plugin version once they have landed in a wordpress core release also keep in mind that the full performance lab plugin is not a full replacement of other wordpress performance plugins you may have using already right so this is another um, uh, crucial point so who developed this plugin the performance lab plugin is being actively worked by the wordpress performance team it was formed in late october 2021 okay so uh, this was the overview of who created and which features come with this initial performance lab plugin version so as we mentioned a uh, webp upload support webp support persistent object cache health check and audit on enqueued assets and json css assets like json css okay to test the webp upload module upload some of the jpeg images to the media library as i explained uh, before it will convert into webpack files okay the the audit enqueued asset module monitors the amount of scripts and style sheets enqueued to your home page so uh, the last option uh, not the last one but this one the audit enqueued assets so uh, this is also a very good feature also you can support this performance lab plugin i will show you how there is a github repository called wordpress performance and here you can see issues are listed you can go through open issues and if you find anything that you can solve or you can contribute you can always create a patch or a fix and create pull request so it will be useful to the community right so that was the uh, quick overview of wordpress performance lab plugin i hope you like this video if you want to see, see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel if you want to say anything please leave your comments below that's all for this video thank you